something when I wouldn't usually do so. The inner scales brought the mic on the high low and let everyone else know from day one. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Mimi of Just Do Me. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another Love Island commentary. And guys, last night's episode was so real. Like, I legit cried twice. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got so emotional. Um, and, you know, even this morning watching it all back again, so emotional again. I was on Instagram last night, like, I'm fuming, I'm so angry. By the way, guys, if you wanna see my live reaction to Amber kicking off and Amy kicking off tonight. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at justin underscore me. I will be going live just after Love Island starts so you guys can see my reaction and I'll dial a few of you guys in as well so we can hear your thoughts on the whole dramas because last night was full of dramas so make sure you're following me and make sure you're tuning into my live on instagram now i'm just going to go quickly straight into michael and we're going to talk about three reasons why michael is complete trash why michael is cancelled why michael is done out here man needs to go can we get the hashtag trending man needs to go man like michael gotta go like first reason he completely led Amber on. I don't care what anybody says. You know, you can lead somebody on with your actions, not just words, not just saying, you know, you're everything to me. You can lead someone on with your actions. And I feel like that's exactly what Michael did to Amber because I really don't think Amber had any doubts whatsoever that Michael's head would turn. I don't think he ever gave her any reason to believe that she wasn't everything he was looking for in a woman. Even us as the public watching can see how shocked we are because he always portrayed himself as this really good guy, so loyal, would never do that. The way he took Danny to task when Danny did the same thing to Yawande, you know, like, and he has been all over Amber from the get-go, saying how much he likes her, how, like, she's his first choice, how they are the same people, the same sense of humour, how nobody makes him smile like she does. He's constantly around her, constantly has her in his arms constantly kissing her like there is no girl in the world who would see a man behaving like that and not think yup he is super into me yada 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 he had us all believing it he had amber believing it then come to find out that my guy has all these other things to say about amber and his head turned within 2.5 seconds of joanna arriving in that villa which leads me to believe his head was kind of already out that door and he never had the courage to just say to Amber, look, these are all the things I don't really like. These are the reasons why I think we probably wouldn't work in the outside world. You know, I, like I know he did try and say to her, look, I don't like when you're being a bit immature, but he never stopped by his guns. Literally a few hours later, he was hugging her, kissing her, making her feel like everything was all right. If he'd stuck by his guns, maybe she would have realized that, okay, there is problems here. Maybe I need to change, maybe I need to reassure him something. But my guy never had the courage to say what was clearly on his mind. He had us all out here believing Amber was all that and a bag of chips to him and apparently she's not even Rivita Crackers, you know, the way homeboy has been talking about her. That's number two. The way man like Michael is just blaming everything on Amber. Certain situations which I wouldn't usually do. Like when I wouldn't usually do so. Come see Amber is this, Amber is that, Amber is immature, Amber is, I'm not her type, she doesn't tell me how she feels, everything in the world is wrong with Amber, it is because of Amber's immaturity that your tongue is now down another girl's throat, Amber put your tongue there, hmm? Idiots. You know, like when he was talking to Curtis in last night's episode and he was like, I'm just wondering how Amber's gonna feel. How is Amber going to react? I don't think she will. I don't think she will. I don't think she's going to be hurt. How could she be hurt when 
And Kurt is like, I'm not going to lie to you, she's going to be really hurt. And he was like, yeah, but how can she be really hurt, you know? She's always made me know that I'm not her type. She's made it very clear. She's done this, she's done that, blah de blah de blah I'm like, are you mad? Are you actually mad? You're trying to say that Amber... Because she said in week one, now you're in week four, you know, because she said in week one that you're not her type, this is her fault and she has no right to be hurt. Despite the fact that you guys have been kissing, making out, making promises, making plans for the last three and a half weeks. Are you actually dumb? Literally trying to justify his behaviour on the fact that three weeks ago, Amber wasn't really that interested. So the last three weeks of her letting her guard down, trusting you and being open to you count for nothing, Michael. She has no right to be upset. <laughs> trash. Complete trash. Third reason why Michael is trash. Anna did a similar thing to Jordan. Did you see the shame on Anna's face? She couldn't even look up at him. She was so ashamed of herself, even though she knew she made the right decision. She was so ashamed of herself. Surprise. Shock, sad. Why It came through the camera how ashamed she was. The same for Curtis, so ashamed of his behaviour. <laughs> when he saw Amy walk in alone but man like Michael wants to sit there and argue with Amber and Anna you should just be groveling, apologising, whatever you can do to stay in her good books. I'm pretty sure that was the advice, you know, that Curtis gave him. There is no circumstance where you have betrayed this girl's trust. You have pretty much cheated on her because you're practically, he's been practically living with Amber for three weeks. The minute she disappears for two and a half, three days, he's in bed cracking on with another girl. There is no reason why he should be saying that she's pathetic. And we're going to see that in tonight's episode. I do not... I, why is he squaring up to her and Anna? Man like Michael, you should be groveling, begging for forgiveness, apologising, whatever, explaining. You should not be that in your chest like yeah i did what i did i said what i said you are trash you're cancelled you're over done can't wait to see amber and anna rip him to shreds tonight so man like curtis <laughs> curtis is a joke i'm like if you really want to jump ship and leave amy in the dirt surely you put out feelers before you just go and confess like to jordan if um, coupling was right now, I would choose you. Did he put out any feelers, see where her head was at, see what she was thinking? No, he just jumped straight into the deep end. And of course, Jordan pied him real quick. What is best in this situation? Yeah. 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 She put him in that friend zone real hard and left him in a really awkward position because he had to then go back and choose Amy and he's going to have a lot of explaining to you. I just thought you're so delusional when he was like this is either going to make us break or it's going to make us stronger. I was like in which world is this going to make you stronger? And how bad did we all feel for Amy, where she's professing her love for Curtis, and at the same time, he's trying to crack on with Jordan. How bad did we feel for her? And when she walked back into that recoupling ceremony, and she was just talking about that he's all she's thought about for the last four days. Oh, yeah. As you can see, Curtis is on his own. He's decided to stay with you. Good. How does that make you feel? So good. I'm literally... 
He's all like, you know, she couldn't wait to get back to him. At least a man like her has had the good sense to look ashamed of himself. Completely ashamed of himself. No loyalty. Where is the loyalty? He has done Amy dirty. And I really hope she does not, you know, stay with him. I really hope she gets out of that coupling really fast because as much as like Kurt is she didn't deserve what he did to her either so jordan ovi anna that was awkward i did feel bad for jordan but i feel like we all as a public could see that him and anna never ever really seemed that serious they all just kind of like made out all the time there were never like any emotional chats or planning for future with them her and Ovi definitely a better suit, but I did feel bad for Jordan because he chose to stay loyal. But at the same time, I do feel like he only chose to stay loyal because his first choice, Jordan, ended up with Danny. No surprise to me that Lucy walked in with George. I knew that girl was fickle. I knew that she would choose looks. And honestly, I don't blame her because Stevie didn't even seem that great either. But she did seem to have a better connection with Stevie. They seemed to have more chats. But no surprise whatsoever when she came back in the villa with George. Now again, all I want to do, see now, is George crack on with Amber. George has made it into the villa. Amber is now single. Can we see that? Can we see that drive Michael mad? Who else is here for the jealousy? Michael's going to realise he effed up. He is going to realise he effed up. And I really hope Amber, she, won't, she will not forgive that treachery because she really did let her guard down start to trust him and he completely spat it back in her face i feel like him and that joanna girl are gonna have a hard time moving forward in that villa because the rest of the girls were not happy they're not going to be very nice to either of them i'm looking forward to seeing a little bit of that loyalty that anna has tonight i'm sorry you stand by your friend even though it's a little bit hypocritical because she did the same thing you stand by your friend Back. Do you think Molly has stayed loyal to you? I hope so, because I feel like what we have is so special. So the rest of the couples I don't care about at all let me know what you guys thoughts are and don't forget to tune into my instagram live because that's the quickest way you're going to find out what my reactions are nine o'clock tonight who's here to see amber kick off I know some people wanted to see her be classy and sophisticated. No, sis. I want to see her drag him. Drag him by his box head. Who does he think he is to mess with our girl Amber? Nah, I'm here for it. I mean, you're just new. You're looking good. You're feeling good. Sound off in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys soon.